can you take us through the process of um, yeah um of how how like these are handmade which in and itself is amazing like they're handmade you know like what's handmade now it's, it's so i think a lot of people um in today's day and age everything is automated everything is machines every you push a button and it pops out a bunch of widgets without even thinking about it yeah um right. you don't find a lot of companies anymore that can do the things that we do um especially with the the materials that we use right. um and, and still keep the price point where it's at because they are truly handmade they're every step of the way either mel or i have our hands on whether it's be laying up the carbon fiber, whether it's the, the introduction of the resin, the cutting, the finishing, the demolding process, it's, it's, it's all a process. And it, it was all taken. The process of making the tubes is a direct result of years of working with composites in the um, prosthetic industry. Okay. So I took those skill sets. It was 2008. I had someone approach me at a shindig um, before I was running the shindig actually. And, asked me they knew my familiarity with composites specifically carbon fiber and it asked me if i could make something and they showed me a, an early carbon fiber air hammer so for the real ogs watching this they'll know exactly what i'm talking about um but i i said yeah i, I could probably make that and so mm -hmm. i got hooked up with the guy who was who was struggling at the time in his business doing them and i literally just started to just i was doing it out of the garage as a manufacturer capacity only i didn't want to i had no desire at the time to, mm -hmm. to start a business in right. the public um and uh I, I was really just doing it to to kind of get some side money for the uh, racing stuff because it was just getting too expensive yeah, you know, exactly yeah and one thing led to another and i had you know unfortunately that person i was trying to help he ended up going under completely um there's a long torrid story about it which i won't go into but um, it, it just, I saw an opportunity at the time. I had a lot of people reaching out to me going, well, could you do this? Could you do that? And you know, again, you know, it's one of those things where you make one, it does well, somebody else wants one. Mm -hmm. the story goes from there. And you start in a garage, the next thing you know, you're moving into a bigger building and a bigger building. And next right. thing you know, you're leaving your career because <clears throat> you have the opportunity to, to do something. So you go from making body parts to car parts almost car parts. Right. And, I made that switch, I think, back in 2010 or 11. I haven't looked back since. 